carbon offsetting can have its place within an overall strategy to reduce the carbon emissions from your business. Is it difficult or costly to purchase carbon credits? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we give you the tools to master the strategies and tactics to be successful in environmental management. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. In this episode, I will look at carbon credits as an option to reduce or offset your carbon emissions and the process for completing a transaction on the United Nations carbon offset platform. Carbon offsetting is a climate action that enables individuals and organisations to compensate for the emissions that they cannot avoid by supporting worthy projects that reduce emissions in somewhere else in the world. To be clear, there are two stages before you should consider carbon offsetting. The first stage is to quantify your carbon footprint by measuring the carbon that is emitted by your business or by you as an individual. That in itself is an episode on its own. So watch out for that episode coming soon. The second stage is to reduce your carbon footprint as much as you can through reduction strategies, such as avoiding carbon emissions by turning off electricity or not taking a car journey, or substituting for a less carbon intensive option, such as replacing a diesel car with an electric vehicle. After these two stages, it is highly likely that there will remain residual carbon emissions, which will be unavoidable. In an ideal world, there would be no unavoidable carbon emissions, but yet we're not there yet. It is at this stage that you should consider carbon offsetting. I use carbon offsetting for my business activities as part of our environmental and sustainability policy commitments, as well as being a signatory to the United Nations Climate Neutral Programme. You can buy carbon credits as United Nations Certified Emissions Reductions, or CERs, which provide a direct financial contribution to the projects within the United Nations Clean Development Mechanism, and that allows them to contribute to reducing emissions and to benefit the communities around them. So let's take a look at the website and process for carbon offsetting the unavoidable carbon emissions from our environmental and sustainability consultancy, One Planet Solutions. Once you access the website, you can see a series of menu options covering more about the offsetting process, how to offset, United Nations certification, projects, contributors, and frequently asked questions. If we go to the how to offset menu option, we will see a clear explanation of the five stages of the offset process, covering calculation of emissions for individuals, but also this can apply to small companies. Two, the opportunity to choose a project the third item is about adding certified emissions reductions to your cart for purchase. The fourth is to be able to make payment. And the fifth is the opportunity to receive a certificate sent to confirm your carbon offset. In addition, this web page provides further information about the United Nations Carbon Footprint Calculator about the opportunities for payment, covering payments from a PayPal account, credit card payment or bank transfer. And then finally, there is a 
specimen copy of the certificate that you will receive once you have completed your transaction. And at the very bottom of the page is also a Choose Your Project button in green. So you can go directly to choose the project that you wish to invest your money in for the carbon credits. If we go to the top of the page, we can select the menu option United Nations Certification, which provides further information about the certification process for emissions reductions, as well as the sustainability development co-benefits of projects covering environmental, social and economic co-benefits. With a further green button at the bottom of the web page to choose a project. Clicking on any of these choose a project buttons or if we return to the top of the web page and click on the projects item in the menu it will bring up a series of projects. We can filter these projects by project type such as agriculture or biogas energy by continent where the clean development mechanisms have been implemented such as Africa and Asia or to drill down further by selecting the filter for country to allow us to search for Brazil or Cambodia or Chile among other countries. Co-benefits can be identified as environmental, social or economic benefits so that can cover air or land benefits, jobs and health and safety, welfare benefits, as well as technology and balance of payments. The Vintage filter allows projects between 2008 to 2012 or projects from 2013 to be selected. And the dollar symbol filter allows for selecting by bank transfer or PayPal or credit card payments. All these options can then be sorted by a random selection or by price in ascending or descending order. And the available tons from the project can also be uh, filtered by ascending or descending order. So if we select a project based on hydropower with a co-benefit of welfare and a payment method of PayPal or credit card, it brings up a number of projects, eight in total. I'm going to select the project for the San Clemente hydroelectric power plant by selecting that project it brings up further information not only about the outline of the project but also about its environmental performance its social performance and access to other information about the project so I can click on the information about the project and it brings up a series of documents that I can click on to find out more information about the structure of the project and its performance within the clean development mechanism. If I return, return back to the web page, I can also find out more about the project developer by clicking on the link that will take me to their web page. If you scroll further down on the page, you can then see the opportunities to enter your carbon tons in each of the project categories. For my carbon offset, I need to enter my unavoidable emissions from the activities of my environmental and sustainability consultancy, One Planet Solutions. For 2018 to 2019, the unavoidable carbon emissions were 32 tonnes carbon dioxide equivalent, which I will enter in the box for the projects for 2013 onwards. And I will get an instant confirmation 
that that quantity has been added to the cart, which I can review together with the overall cost of purchasing those carbon credits. So here we can see that the 32 tonnes that I need to offset will cost 160 US dollars. I will leave the tick box ticked for I agree to the publication of my attestation on this site so that there is an open and transparent record of my transaction. And I will select the reason for offsetting from the drop-down menu, which will relate to offsetting the greenhouse gas emissions from my company. And then if you click on the proceed to checkout, you can then enter in to the payment side of the website by logging in and further proceed to checkout. You can check the details of your transaction and that you wish to make a credit card transaction. You can review the payment information and agree to the conditions of use and confirm. And then you will be sent to a separate web page where you can enter your credit card details to complete the payment, which I will not show as this is personal and business transaction information, which should remain confidential. After payment, you will receive a confirmation and then can return to a nice message to thank you for taking climate action. If you want to check your order, there is a further link at the bottom of the text to allow you to go directly to your completed orders. And finally, you'll receive a series of emails confirming payment as well as a copy of your attestation in the form of a certificate to demonstrate that you have completed this transaction and of carbon offset, which in my case equates to 32 tonnes of CO2 equivalent. So that's the overall process for carbon offset purchases through the United Nations Carbon Offset Platform, which is both simple and easy to complete. It also gives two mutual benefits. It allows my business to compensate for its unavoidable carbon emissions and it provides additional funding to the project which provided the carbon credits to achieve more in its sustainability activities. If you want more information on the websites and documents referenced in this episode, this information is given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. I hope that this episode has given you an insight into how you could use the United Nations Carbon Offset Platform and purchase certified emission reduction units to offset your unavoidable carbon emissions. If you are thinking of carbon offsetting or already purchase certified emission reduction credits as part of your carbon offset strategy, please leave a comment in the box below. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right. And to subscribe to this YouTube channel, you can click on the link to the left. Thank you.